down. And I'm gonna dump a uh, satchel charge in that bunker too, just to get rid of that officer. Wow, it didn't kill him. That's spread. Maybe the uh, satchel charges for the uh, paratroopers are a little bit weaker than the, uh, the ones for the engineers. There we go, finally took him out. Alright, I got some heavy tank guns here, that'll come in handy. Gonna grab those. I'm gonna capture this point too. I'm just gonna move this up here so I can actually have some uh, good defense going on here. I'm gonna move up one of my guys who has a uh, has bazookas too because those are kind of huge handy against uh, armored cones. Eagles, shake a leg. On me, airborne. Watch for Jerry. Looks like we walked to Berlin. <laughs> Sorry, if you guys couldn't hear that on YouTube, he says, "Looks like we walk to Berlin." I, I love some of the voice uh, the the voice what acting in this game. They just say some uh, some of the guys say the funniest things. Uh, I think it's either the mortar team or the uh, or the engineering team who, who says my favorite line in this game, and it's, "I hear the Nazis are all eight feet tall." Just there's something so funny about that line. I just love seconds. it. Secure supplies. Oh yeah, uh, when you find uh, stuff like ammo crates, you can actually secure it for extra resources. Comes in a lot of handy. I should really be doing that. Good. Got it. Squad. What are my coordinates? Last step. Nice. Oh, that was beautiful. There we go. Nice bazooka to the face. Best way to kill a German. Everyone knows you have to cut off the German's head for it to actually die. Got it. All right, what else? Oh, I have to secure the sector. Can't believe I forgot that. Just a second, I'm just going to move some guys over there and build. Yeah, you can build, uh, I think they're called listening posts, observation posts, sorry. Uh, you can throw observation airborne. posts onto areas and those come in huge airborne. amounts of handy because what they pretty airborne. much do is uh, give you more airborne. resources airborne. and they also pretty much lock down that sector so that uh, the enemy has to destroy that before they can take uh, they can take that area back. Keep it steady. Actually, I'm going to drop some sandbags down here too just to make sure that I don't have that annoying road patrol uh, shooting at my guys come on road patrol show up on me airborne yes sir 82nd airborne let's move wow those things move fast holy they're just gone <laughs> Airborne, let's move. Yes, sir. Eagles, shake a leg. Yeah, I'm upgrading everything with uh, recoilless rifles just because like they come in so much handy in taking out uh, any kind of vehicle. And uh, mo most what infantry, actually, for the uh, for the uh, <laughs> brain fart, for the Americans, they don't actually uh, have that stuff. Oh, that was a really bad time to move that. Okay, recoilless rifle works, though. Nice. I'm gonna flank him over here. Flanking is actually really important in this game. Uh, as long as you have... See? Look. I just flanked those guys and I literally took them out in a second. Absolutely great. I'm gonna leave this uh, this uh, smaller squad. It's only got three guys in it. I actually hit my population cap a uh, little while back, so I'm gonna actually uh, just leave those guys there to take out any world patrols that show up and start moving forward. Watch for Jerry. Vehicles approaching. Watch for Jerry. Look alive, airborne. Watch for Jerry. Watch for Jerry. Short, quick bounds. Better get behind some cover in case this vehicle show up randomly. Watch for Jerry. Stand to. 
Yeah, I'll get around to placing landmines. That's the only thing that really annoys me about this game. It kind of makes it too easy sometimes, just making things really obvious, like, place landmines here. Destroy patrol. Wow, you're, you're in an awful hurry, uh, <laughs> caption. Where are you going? Oh, oh, oh. oh, I love it when the Germans just go flying. <laughs> Ragdoll physics are awesome. Yeah, I, as you might have noticed, a lot of this stuff is destroyable. I can't really destroy a huge amount of stuff, but uh, look at something like this. If I attack this uh, barn here with a uh, with a recoilless rifle, enemy contact. Does it do it? Enemy. Okay, it doesn't do it on that building. But a lot of buildings, when you uh, attack a certain area, that area of the building will break. Will break. Not not it. Not the whole thing. It won't kind of crumble or, or fall apart or anything like that. Like in a lot of RTS, which is which is really cool. I uh, I really like the level of detail that Relic threw into this game. Absolutely outstanding. That patrol gone. We can secure all the sectors near the road. Nice. I'm in a hurry, so I'm gonna move these guys up to take up the last few Germans. Nice! As you can see, when uh, vehicles explode, and, uh, you can actually use that as cover too. That uh, that always comes in a lot of handy. Oh man, my uh, anti-tank guns actually have been getting hit pretty hard. That's probably my own fault for leaving it so uh, poorly defended. Watch your spacing. All right, road secure. Awesome. Southern road sector captured. I'm gonna leave the anti-tank gun behind, just because I don't want to really drag it around everywhere. Really, is not that important until you're actually uh, having to fortify a position, which I believe you have to do on this mission. Jerry's waiting. Move it, airborne. Ah, yeah, Germans! Enemy unit dead. Never mind, rocket to the face. No matter what your mother tells you, a rocket to the face solves every problem. On me, airborne. And see, this is another good thing about machine guns. They have to actually take a while to set up. So, as you can see, while they're setting up, they just got shellacked instantly. Oh yeah, these Germans don't stand a chance. <laughs> I have great cover. Oh yeah, they're gonna get massacred. Oh, did you see that? Look at that. Oh my god, that's terrible. Such a gory game sometimes. You don't expect pieces of Germans just to go flying. You don't really see that in RTS a lot. See, look at this. Another really annoying cap, uh, really annoying caption. Empty AA guns can be captured. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. Capture this point. Really did not figure out that maybe I should capture the points after you've been telling me to do that for the past like 15 minutes of the game. God. Airborne. Keep your heads down, Airborne. Hoo-ha. Paratroopers, Airborne. Let's move. Watch for Jerry. I'm actually going to use this uh, Airborne company weapon. to capture this MG4, uh, MG42 just to show Grab you what a uh, heavy weapon really looks like when you're uh, when you're using it instead of Got the enemy. Because it actually does come in handy. I just really hate setting these things up whenever I'm moving walk. forward. They take a while. Going for a walk. Paratroopers, Jerry. Going for a walk. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep repeating all these lines because... I love how stereotyped the Americans are in this. I mean, every single soldier in the American army, according to Relic, has either a, an accent from Kentucky, an accent from Boston, or an ac accent from New York. I absolutely love that. Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah! Airborne. Alright, I'm going to move MG up my machine gun here, as well as a uh, company of troops just to Stand defend two. them, because I guarantee you there'll be Germans there. Huh, no Germans. Awesome. Open, We're the point. Now. For Jerry. I'm glad you're taking the point. 